with the CKTJ Broadcasting Studio, behind the bookshelf with the bust of Stan Lee, the Y Fighters join forces to bring you the hottest news from around the geeky underworld. CKTJ presents Alex Richardson, Jeff Baxo, Nathan Coffin, and CC Lee as the Y Fighters. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Mm. Hello there. I'm Jeff. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm CC Lee. <laughs> I'm Nathan Coffin. And I'm Alex Rich. And we are your Y Fighters. Mm hmm. Back for week two, people. Woot. Mm hmm. I can't believe we actually made it. I can't believe they actually let us come back on the air. I can't, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about what we're doing later. Later. In private, please. <laughs> okay. Yay. I'm not dairy even products. going to ask. <laughs> well, yeah. non dairy products aside, well, we got some game news for you. We got two hours of fun. Mm hmm. We start off this hour with our good old uh, news updates. Is that right? Yes, is that right? right? Yeah. That is Woo! correct. Okay, good. I was just making sure. Because you changed some things on me, and I still don't know what the heck's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, some scheduling things. Yeah, whatever. It happens. Well, as, uh, as per usual, we're still going to start off with uh, gaming news and review or mm -hmm. releases. The stuff you want to hear. Yay. Right hey, here. Hit me. Well, well, okay. If you really want me to hit you, can you come closer? Shh, no, <laughs> please don't. Wait. Please don't. Wait. Okay, um, Jeff, how about you start us off? I think I started it off last time. Well, in South Park, you know, Colorado, lovely little town, a lot of shenanigans that's a, that's goes down. That's a real town. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it is now in my two-dimensional imagination. Huh. But huh. there's been, you know, plenty of talk for the past two years, and only talk, pretty much about the Stick of Truth RPG that they've been working on. There's been a gameplay you know, trailer. Uh, Alex and I actually watched it yesterday. Yes, it, I was very impressed. <laughs> Excuse me? It was like watching a show. Yeah, I yeah, think I, Nathan's I, 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 right now. I'm kind of offended. Yeah, why <laughs> well, was really I invited? Hurt. This I, was uh, at like I'm 10 okay. at night. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a private studio to 10 o'clock. I would have come here at 10 o'clock at night if you guys invited me. I'm hurt. Oh, come on, guys. Well, I didn't even know it was released until two seconds excuses before we watched it. On <laughs> excuses. Whatever. Continue. Regardless, it was pretty awesome. Looked just like the TV show. I, mm -hmm. I thought it was an episode, and then, bam. You actually play as a character, your own character in it. So you, so, that's, so you customize your character? You are a South Park character. You You're the fifth member. Wow. Imagine you. A South Park character. Oh, and all his mm -hmm. two-dimensional goodness. Can I can't you play wait. as a male or a female? I think so. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Makes me happy. But there is a downside with this. Which is? Despite the fact that this Wicked trailer was released, yet another delay has happened. Go on. Not surprised. It is no longer bo going to be released this December. It was pushed back a couple of months to March. So now Ooh. the game is going to be released March 4th. I am starting to think that this is going to be the new Duke Nukem. In the sense that we'll keep hearing that it's going to be released, but it's going to be video games White Whale. Mm. It just will never be released. Oi. <laughs> or next thing you know, they'll they'll release it, and it'll be the next day. Like, oh, we're releasing it tomorrow. Just hey, like surprise. last last minute notice. <laughs> In classic South Park style. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Nathan. Oh yeah. So. Um I'm probably on. I'm, a, I'm just on a Pokemon binge right now. But uh, I found out recently uh, that Game Freak, you know, developers of Pokemon, were uh, pretty cleverly hiding this little uh, tidbit of info. But uh, three mysterious Pokemon have appeared in the Kalos region, or are going to be. They were supposed to be scheduled at some indefinite time, but someone uh, hacked the game itself and found them. Uh, their names are. Oh my god! Doesn't that just make you wish you could hack yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, kind of. But like, we're not supposed to be promoting like illegal. Well, to <laughs> I'm me, not promoting it. I just uh, sometimes wonder what it would be like if I could. And if Matrix is real. Yeah. yeah. Well. Would you take the red pill? Well, that's or the risky blue thinking, pill? Jeff. <laughs> that's where my brain goes every time I hear hackers. In any case. Why? Because it was. In... <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so their names are uh, well. They're really kind of. Weird names, but you know that's kind of normal for Pokemon. Names? They're no, no, the only one of them, which is like Diancy or something, and it's Rock Fairy. Uh, its entry goes 
Uh, it can instantly create many diamonds by compressing the carbon in the air between its hands. So it's a money-making Pokemon. It is a money-making mo- Pokemon. Diamonds. So people uh, are going to want to catch this Pokemon for its money-making abilities. Get rich quick scheme. Yep. I'm Callous. sensing a new plot line. No, no, no. Please, no. Don't kill Team Rocket. <laughs> an economic system. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! Yay! laughs> but uh, so you, I don't think you can actually catch them, but they were able to get the types down. Uh, names unpronounceable, but I can tell you that there's a, a water fire, uh, rock fairy, and there's a ghost psychic. So it's kind of like this weird, like... Hey, look, two opposites, but then you have rock fairy, and no one really cares about fairy or rock. So you're saying fairy I think a lot isn't of people a good, care. It's, it's not a good, like... Oh. What you got against rocks? Yeah, wh- wh- why? And fairies. <laughs> look, Geodude, that's all I'm rocks. saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I'm looking at the first rock Pokemon I ever saw, and he's like, freaking Geodude, I don't like him. I thought Geodude was cool. I like the snake ver- uh, evolved form. Onyx? Onyx? That's yeah. not That's not the evolved form. Is it? No, no. 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 Was it? No. 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 I've been lied to no. this whole time. No, wasn't you it? You have not played games in a long time. Was it Graveler? Was it? Wow. Yeah. Do, you, do I have dude, to? Graveler, wow. Golem. See? Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm is. getting it mixed up. Yeah. Yes, you My are. Fault. It's okay. There's angry nerds everywhere right now. Probably. Like what Jeff just said. Where forums. are Nathan's friends to hash you out? If it makes you all feel any better, the last time I played Pokemon was on my gray brick Game Boy. That doesn't make me feel better mm, at all. It, was, it oh, wasn't black and white. That it was green and blue. That makes me feel like your blue. life has been like nothingness without this Pokemon. I'm sorry, but that gray brick was... It still is awesome. I need to go back to Mississauga and get it. It's been a while. Mm. It's like a weapon. You know, it is. The way you're describing it. I can weaponize the- my Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So you're not going to be seeing these Pokemon in a while, but uh, once Nintendo Unless you can hack. It, unless you can hack, and then even then I don't think you can even catch them. How does that work, right. Nathan? Is it a special event? And they? Uh, I think they're just going to patch it in. Like, I yeah, think, through I the think Wi-Fi. That's, I think that's what they're going to be doing, and that's actually pretty cool. They're going to fight the Wi-Fi? Well, they were already doing it. They had to patch the game because uh, there was a city that... Cra- <laughs> I see what you did there, Jeff. Thank you. They, uh, they had to patch the game at one point because the save files would crash if you saved it into the main city. Well, that sounds awful. Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad. Anyways, uh, Alex. Uh, yeah. You got anything? For game, re- game news? Yeah. Uh, well, I got a whole bunch of game reviews. Uh, sorry, upcoming game releases coming up very okay, well, later on in the show. Yeah, let's talk to Sierra first about then. Before uh, we get into that, uh, I, I, it's kind of gaming news, I suppose. Uh, Konami's European arm has announced that the uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow <gasps> Two oh, Collector's wait, Edition, mind. but they, uh, you know, they're they're giving a little bit of a preview before the game's <laughs> February release, and so uh, I, I think it's. I, I've watched the preview and it looks good, but I'm a little bit disappointed with the graphics. Of Look, it. I played Lords of Shadow like on the PS3 and. Oh my god! Uh, it just doesn't feel like Castlevania. I know they tried to go somewhere different, but well, of course, it's a different system. So. Well, not even like they still had like uh, stuff in common. Stuff, yeah. I mean, well, it just doesn't okay. feel like a Castlevania. All right, no, I agree with you. I I, I didn't really like the storyline, even of Dracula's Two and Premium Edition, anyway. So I liked Gabriel though. Uh, but uh, anyways, only thirty thousand units will be released. And uh, they'll only be exclusively available in the game in UK. So good luck for us. Not really. Mm, I'll just you know import it or something. Like, mm. Of the thirty thousand that are available. Mm. How much is it though? Is, is there a price drop in there? It's it's no. It's it's the same price as any generic game. I'd say around sixty to eighty. For a collector's like, edition? Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, it's, Great. It's Google getting a lot of Google. hype, but for nothing really. Hey, whoa. Whoa. I'm just saying I'm not them, impressed with it. Them okay. fighting words. <laughs> I got some good news for Backham, eh, not Backham, Batman Arkham Origins fans, or at least the people that bought the game and experienced many a glitch that has been going on. The uh, developer has confirmed, you know, that fixes are on the way. For these major issues, I have not played the game, but I've talked to some people who have been quite peeved at the issue. Well, uh, what's uh, what's the issues going on, Jeff? Some serious lagging, for instance. Ooh, that's... And, well, as you know how it is with PC releases, there's more bugs to fix than... Walking through yeah, walls. Yeah, I think there was some commentary that actually, like, throughout the game as you fight the villains and things like that when you uh yeah. when you swing a punch at them it just goes through almost like they're not, not made there. of anything yeah 
So uh, they like, may want to fix terrifying. that. Well, like, uh, after all that Batman talk last week, I uh, kind of went on a little Batman binge and looked up a whole bunch of Batman stuff, and I watched a lot of trailers of that game, and uh, it looked really well made. But uh, as far as but then, as I looked into it, <laughs> seems like cinematically it's beautiful yeah cinematically well done but great <laughs> gameplay wise who knows Ooh, yeah so don't worry the fixes will be on the way you just gotta be patient i'm not a patient person it kind of sounds like uh the flack that people were giving um ender's game before it even came out uh they were giving it one star reviews just because they don't like card uh i mean good reason to not like him the guy's like i think racist homophobic uh funds like anti-abortion like funds and i don't know i'm but, a little uh, confused at where this came from no i'm just saying it's like the fact that people are like kind of like bashing the game i don't even haven't seen it come out but uh i don't know just kind of reminded me of that but uh i'll i'll, I'll shut up now <laughs> that's, that's heavy that's heavy stuff it's all right buddy i'm gonna have to think on that well no deep, it, deep thought <laughs> all right it's gone all right <laughs> <laughs> screw it anyways uh sony today has confirmed the official PlayStation 4 launch titles. In other words, the tw- top 22, ge- well, not top 22, the 22 games that will be released on day one of the console release. Hallelujah! Exclusive to the new console. <laughs> not necessarily. There's third-party ones as well. But as far so, some of them are you know, exclusives. For instance, there's Killzone, Shadowfall, Knack, Soundscape, uh, Rizogun and Flower. Those Again? All... Yeah, seriously. Flower? Really? New and revised or the same Probably flower? new and revised. Because uh, I'm really tired of playing that over and over again. Eh. There's also a you pinball game if it makes you feel I did, any better. okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's pinball arcade if you... Mm, love makes pinball. Makes you feel any better. Uh, I, I, like I wish they would bring back no. my Tetris. Mm. But it's one of those things that won't. There are plenty of third-party titles that are going to the new system. Like Assassin's Creed 4, which I'll be reviewing later. There's and since exciting. you've seen these titles, which one are you most excited for? Ooh, I would have to say, despite the uh, games that I would probably get for this, rather than you know the ones that I already use for a different system, I'd have to say Skylanders Swamp Force, mm-hmm. just because of Skylanders. <laughs> What? Uh, what have something to say, Nate? What you got <laughs> against Spyro? Uh, it's not Spyro. I got a Wanna problem make a with. Want comment? I just think that Skylanders is the stupidest. Like Nathan, I couldn't game. agree with more with you on that. Well, it's better. Really? Than- yes. Uh, way back in the not uh, way way back in the what? day, but back in uh, the 80s. old town of Sudbury, <laughs> I, I dated this girl who who was crazy about Skylanders, and she just had all these all the toys. So and basic, well, don't you need the toys to play? Nuts. You do need and it. I, uh, don't you uh, yes. need to buy you the do? figurines to play? You play. Oh, then I yeah. am no longer excited. You have, yeah, you have to. Doesn't that seem like a really big waste them. of you money? You have to buy the game, then buy the the big <laughs> like platform to put the toys on. And you so then you what? have to buy the toys. Like, yeah, there's data just, in the toys. Just going over this list again, I can't believe I missed this, but DC Universe Online is going to be a day one title. Oh, gross. Which... Hey, it's an MMO. Look, whoa, uh, whoa. Wow, that was guys, painful to hear. Let's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's not dish out DC Universe just yet. Oh, no, it's not. I don't have a problem with DC. It says I don't really like MMOs. And what you got against universes? <laughs> well, I, I, live with, I live in one long enough you that know, I hate You know what? I have it. to agree with Nathan on some points, though, because, I mean, the whole DC Universe thing. I'll give you when that, you yeah. When you create your own character or whatever, is it is it still... Well, like, do you change do the characters or? I haven't played this new version of it. Because I think in one of the previous games <laughs> or whatever, you had to actually make your own character, but it was limited powers, and mm. you could only that have this. That was a this... spinoff game. Yeah, was it? Yeah, Did it was it? a spinoff game, and you made your own superhero. That made it look like you would make a person that looked like the Joker and was like the Joker, but it was your own creation. Uh, the Joker. It was a very uh, bad game. Had very bad reviews. Well, yeah, the closest runners up would be. Bl- Battlefield 4, actually, Ooh. and I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't. I don't believe. I can't believe that this is actually Just on a console. Angry Birds Star Wars. Yes. Oh, my. oh yeah. I was, no. I was looking at no. That, <laughs> looking at that earlier. There's a lot of. Uh, and and tell us why you here. like Angry Birds. <laughs> I just think that you know. Like they're angry for a reason, probably because they're getting chucked out of like catapults <laughs> and getting Fired slammed into things. I'd be angry too. <laughs> or maybe they just hate. 
pigs. Maybe they're just racist. My question is, why are the Against pigs smiling all pigs. the time? Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. yeah, why are the pigs green? Just does anyone know? Because they're putrid. Because really? they're putrid scum of the earth. They've that got scurvy. Awful. Yeah, they eat slop all day, you know? They've got scurvy. Is, is slop green? Really? That, that's the reason? That's my reason. Make me no. green. You got gangrene? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rose. Yeah. That so <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'll be getting the Angry Birds for what, sure. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the what is the weakest uh released thing that you think Ooh, it is? The weakest of the titles? Yeah. Oh. And also did you look at the X Bone? I do not speak of that. Mm, not <laughs> do I. There's some evils that should not be unleashed in the world. Yes, that that is very much true. And yet you probably My have people who cooking. are wondering what it is now. Uh, no one wants to know. Why did you gotta do that? Especially could, right after I... You know, we could talk about it next week. We could devote an entire, like, <laughs> a okay, minute three, to bashing no, it. Oh, okay, one Especially minute. considering one minute. the system will be released later this month. Yeah. Moving on Sorry. from Sony stuff. But Sony's so awesome. Yeah, Sony's my... That's true. Sony's well, I, I, I wouldn't... Yes. Yes, they are awesome. That, that's right. Yes. Thank that's you. That's right. All the great stuff. <laughs> Sony made the saga, right? The saga? Yeah. No. no Am I was, wrong? No. Sega? Sega, yeah, Sega made the Sega. Yeah. Sega they made, made Sega. that. No, the, the Sega, Sony. The, the Sega, Sega their own, own company. Sega, Sega was their own company. But they were bought out by Sony, right? Uh, something like that. I'm going to go with yes. Yeah, I think so. Like they, you know? Money. Anyway, moving Sorry. on. <laughs> Someone's going to fact check us like immediately. I, I feel it in my bones. Oh, yeah. Uh, you feel it underneath your skin, too? Yes. <sighs> I don't know why, but. The you know, I'm, bet- to- I'm in between you two, and sometimes I just, I, I get this. You can feel the tension, yeah, can't you? Yeah, I, I feel something, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Negative energy. The magic. <laughs> anyway. Like, Friendship is what you're feeling. Tonight? Okay. Yes. Look at that guy. Buddy. He looks so good buddy. with his headphones right now. <laughs> you look so great. good with your sweater. Moving on from these. Uh, Jeff, I you know, think male you look loving. Good. Thank you. See, you you deserve a compliment too. They Thank weren't going to give it to you, so I'm going to give it to you. I, told you. I, I can't even see him from his here. His buttons look great today. <laughs> it's the top. Button. Did you really tell him? I his did. I said. Though. I think we're getting off on a tangent anyway, here. <laughs> we're doing buttons fashion. Are very important. <laughs> Yes, you know I mean business when I do up my top button. Yes. I never wear a tie, but that's it, how I know when Jeff's going to be staring with me is if he undoes one of the buttons. Ooh, and I know that it, he's got like you know the gloves I'm are off. Up. Yeah, <laughs> it's business time. If there's two buttons undone, it means fisticuffs. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we have a new segment in the show. We today. do have a new segment, and we're calling it the Y Fighters Apocalypse Survival Guide. <sighs> That's exciting. Yeah, and uh, so um, what's going to happen from now on till the end of time or until one of us perishes from a horrible, horrible death, um, we're going to... <laughs> sorry, I have a morbid sense be- of personality. What do you... What do, you, what do you want me to do? Sense uh, of personality? Well, sense of, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't, I might I feel don't like even this. know my own personality, so I have to just give myself one. Um, All right. Anyways, well, so... That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's escapism. That's, that's, that's a... We're not going to talk it's about it. too philosophical for today. I know some Do you want me to continue with this okay, or not? Okay, fine, fine. Go ahead. Okay, so every week we're going to pick a new type of kind of apocalypse and just uh, go round robin and see what you guys would do to survive. And this week's apocalypse is a pandemic. No, we're not going with zombies because that's uh, that's being overdone right now. So we're going we're gonna to take a break. And hashtags. Yeah, we're going to so take a break. Let's... And uh, we're going to do... Uh, You know, viral diseases, SARS, Ebola, Black Plague, everything mixing together for some unknown reason. Mother Nature just wants to eradicate us. All right, I've got a quick question. (laughs) Yes, yes, Jeff? (laughs) Is it all airborne? Uh, Most of these diseases, yes. However, I would not, I, I would not suggest being intimate with a person during this whole pandemic. It's just not a good idea. No, I never said that I'd well, engage no, I'm in just, I'm just saying. carnal it's, dalliance. It's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I dropped dalliance. Resist the urge. This guy is um, vocabulary. Uh, Grade 11 words. <laughs> Anyways, uh, goodness, I can think of so many questions about this whole issue. But if it's airborne, I'd probably be already Kaplitsky. Unless, for some weird reason, I happen to be immune. Mm, I'm just naturally lucky, so I think I'd survive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. know Nathan, How would you deal uh, with all the sick people walking around? You know what? Dying Nathan around would walk you. through a hospital and be fine. Oh, no. I don't even understand it. Like, when it comes to bad things happening to people, I'm just the... 
it's like they go for me. It's like I'm some kind of like karmic Houdini because I do some bad things and then someone gets sick like right next to me. I'm like, wow, it's like someone had really crazy. You're the reason I got sick. I'm probably the reason you got sick. I've never really been sick. This Nathan entire killed year. me. Uh, Alex. <laughs> Well, uh, I, I what, don't, would, what would you do in this kind of situation? I mean, like, where would you not go? Obviously, you don't want to go to a well, hospital. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I would be totally set to go because I got a whole bottle of Flintstone vitamins in <laughs> my, oh, in my uh, room right of now. Of course. What was I thinking? I so, didn't know the cure for everything was Flintstone vitamins, I'm guys. practically immune. But if I had to uh, go somewhere safe, uh, actually, um, I, found, I looked, found this online, but someone built, like, this, like, zombie fortress Yes. So, so, so technically, it would be it would be safe enough for for any viruses too, because nothing could get in there. No air. It's, if it's airborne, I'm I'm secured so in there. So I'd how, do, how do boy. they circulate the air in there, though? Oh, I don't know. It, it's a giant fortress. It's they have a got, plant. Okay. They have a tree somewhere. Right. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. There's always there's a the... tree in the fortress. I just like to say that I stick in my basement like 24 seven, unless I have to be like dragged out of bed for this or, or work. Pockets. Or hot pockets, <laughs> so like I literally, I probably would not even come in contact because no one in my family would be stupid enough to go outside if there was a pandemic, epidemic, pandemic, pandemic, pandemic going on. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so if if someone came knocking on your door screaming that you know people were coming after them coughing because <laughs> the you know, British are coming, people, the British are coming. Do that. Uh, would you open the door or would you tell them that uh, <laughs> that's just too bad? You think I care about other people? Because <laughs> I don't. I just want to know. <laughs> no, just, I wouldn't open the door. <laughs> I, I could see Nathan just being like, "Stranger danger." Stranger danger. I just like turn off all the lights. Like, we're not home. <laughs> we're not home. Bye. But I'm telling you, we're not home. Yeah. Or, ooh, the bubble boy idea. You know, just like the movie. Or, you know, you could just like, if you were already trapped in like that, that reality. Oh, it's not a reality TV show. It's just a, I don't know, the dome. Concept. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, reality concept dome. The Stephen would King. You, would you just, if, if there was a pandemic going around, would you, would you kill everyone else in the dome? Depends if they're sick. Well, if or one if, if one person's sick, all of all of you are going to get sick. Are you sure? Well, then it's only a matter of time, and well, no, I'm already if, sick. If you kill so. off everyone else except for the people you love, and then you burn the bodies. It's absolutely fine. But I'm already infected, technically speaking. Well, that's with anything. Touche. What? This is a weird, not a weird topic, but it's a difficult one. There's so many. What would you variables. do, Jeff? I'd call Morgan Freeman. He would definitely save the day. Yeah, I'd call Bruce Bruce the Willis. movie Outbreak. He could narrate my survival. <laughs> I'd call yeah, exactly. Brad Pitt. Guaranteed. <laughs> would you rather be in a cold climate or a hot climate? Cold. Jeff? Lukewarm. Uh, <laughs> Canada. Uh, <laughs> Alex? Well, they always say the cold weather will, you know, like, reduce the viruses, but I'd go somewhere warm because if I'm going to die... I'm just so tired. I like the way you think. So I'm tired like of the it. cold. I'll just I like go to it. Florida, get sick, and party. You know? Well, what about that movie like Thaw, where they? It's not like a virus, but it's it's more or less like a, a parasite, a singular celled parasite that it's looks a, like a bug. It's just mm. really, really. Or let's just go. Uh, you know what, I, Brad Pitt? After seeing the movie The Thing, I don't think I want to go somewhere cold with their parasites. <laughs> mm. Alex is good. Yeah. He's going to get out of Canada now. Uh, I believe in the Yeti, so no. No cold. Uh, the, ye- the Yeti? That's right. But You heard the, me. Uh, the Yeti is not a parasite, nor is it a virus. You're yeah, a virus. but... But he's a you know what, he's predator a thing. fiend against good-looking guys. Are you guys. okay there? Exactly. I, I don't know. I just kind of Especially like... guys who do up the top button. <laughs> don't okay, what about well, you? Uh, if it were me, I would probably be somewhere cold, even though I am afraid of the thing and the thaw. Both movies scare me and frighten me. I but, know nothing uh, about that stuff. Yeah, I just I just feel like, you know, a virus would have a harder time actually getting to me in a colder population or colder climate kind of thing. And I don't know, I feel like there'd be less people in and a colder climate. And yet they climate. infamously adapt. It's true. It's true. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it's so, it's so awful because most viruses can survive in, like, extreme temperatures. temperatures. Yeah. Like, whether it's, like, extremely hot or extremely cold, you're mm-hmm. still... You're still going to uh, die. Yeah, so, I'm just going to freeze myself. Yeah, you're going to cryogenically words, freeze yourself. Yes. until the virus has eradicated the human race, oh, and then when it's eradicated the human race, you're going to come out of your deep freeze and do 
I don't know, play video games. Oh, okay, like, okay, play Pokemon. Okay. So you're gonna, Lather himself you're, you're up gonna in Purell and go. You're going to cryogenically freeze your game <laughs> systems along with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you, you're, you're going to want to make sure they're plugged in and charged first. Yes. So uh, because, I'll just bring my charger, and then I'll get one of those hand <laughs> yes, cranks. Yes, because after, after the, the hand world crank. ends, there's going to be somewhere to plug in your charger. No, look, I have a hand crank. I'm just going to crank it, and I'm going to plug in everything. And I was like, da 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 you know. And, uh, and it works. Three months later, Nathan runs out of food, and there's no one left to feed him. So. I'll I'll start my own agricultural business. We could have an entire <laughs> book about what I'm going to do after the world. Nathan's ends. nuts. Na- what? <laughs> what? Oh, no. I didn't go we, that far. We don't want to talk about that. I here. was going with you know tree nuts. Come on, people. I'd get it signed by Nathan. Oh. I don't know. Just Thanks. with a with a pandemic, you have to consider a lot of factors. You have to consider, for one, how long it's going to take for the actual disease to take over the world. And you're going to have to wait about mm-hmm. how much I'm going to care could about be, the end of the world. Could be a couple days. Could be a couple weeks. Could be a couple months. It could be never. I've actually played an iOS game that was based on yeah. pandemics. I had that game, too. Yeah, I forget the, the virus. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I think it was called uh, Outbreak or yeah. like something along those it lines. It was fun. Yeah. I got to be a virus. You just keep making... You put more money into your virus being better. Like, you're a terrorist, and you're releasing a virus into the world. Do you world. have a vaccine for yourself? No. Uh, um, scientists try to develop the fac- vaccine, usually in Madagascar, because no one can get in Madagascar. If, you, if someone coughs in New Zealand, Madagascar closes the only port it has, and you don't win the game. So we should go to Madagascar. Yes, because they have to shut down everything. Warm. Aha! Uh-huh. Yeah, see, Alex and see, I are right. see, that's not that's not always workable though, because like if if Japan were to shut down its airports, I I think most diseases start or a lot of them start in like Asian countries. So Japan may be just you know, uh, they they may not be able to stop it. It's up. It's probably already there. I yeah. feel like they have it just hidden away in a secret storage room, and then someone's gonna go into that storage room and knock everything over. The janitor, and then that little the little baby Godzilla worm will grow up and. And then it will come to the U.S., and then by the U.S. it will come to Canada. And then we got Godzilla on our hands, and that's oh. how Godzilla 2000 started. I don't like that movie. I love that movie. But now we know the origins of it. Mm-hmm. That's what we do here on Wife Fighters. It's a good we day. answer all these problems. It's a good day. Yeah, we answer problems we didn't even know we were asking. That's true. So we were talking about viruses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, wash your hands. Make sure you use uh, lot of, lots of vitamins. Bathe what is this, in Purell. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's baby Purell now. Say, no, bathe. I said bathe. Oh, bathe I'm like, in it. I'm like, yeah, oh, like, I was going to say. Like a bathtub. I was going to say, how do you make a different Purell just for babies? I don't know. I'll get my scientists to figure that out. But uh, either way, yeah. Uh, get this, your top people on it, Joe. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I, I don't know what I'd do if a global pandemic happened. I think honestly, you'd have no chance. Yep, that, that's what I'm going with. I, I think you'd either develop a natural, like, antibiotic resistance to it, or you'd just die. Well, or you're like Will Smith and I am Legend. Yeah, you're just you're just have badass. a natural immunity to it. Yeah, yeah. technically yeah. speaking, we all are currently so, experiencing a global pandemic. It's called the common cold. It's awful. True enough. Yeah, the thing's been going think. on so long. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. but, but maybe it's actually working. That's why it's been going on so long. Makes you think. Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> All much. right, I get it. That's like, the that's solution the cure to, to everything. The cold, man. Nice. Alex, you just want to wait out the apocalypse with me? Yeah. Really? Um, I love how they never invite us to anything. <laughs> no. Never. Anything. Not, you guys not anything. We'll have our own right? party. You yeah, we'll go to Studio 2 and... Just hang out there. Yeah, we'll we'll barricade Studio Two. Yeah. Wow. Are you ready to like go stir crazy before the first day? The, f- before the first hour is over, someone's gonna try to kill the other person. It's gonna happen. I don't. I think we'd be good. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, well. <laughs> Never mind. Never. Yeah. Moving on. I, but I, 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 just, I really don't think you'd have any choice. To, but uh, you could either choose to off yourself, or you could wait for the impending doom. No, I'm Except just gonna wait until on. someone falls asleep, and then we'll have food. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> when it comes to survival, I'm not. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> You're just gonna wait till they fall asleep, and, and then I'm going to kill what them. What if it's in the food? Uh, oh, okay, no, no. He's going. He's he's going to. Uh, you know, he's gonna get rid of them. So cabin fever. Let yeah, just don't eat my liver, man. That thing is so. <laughs> I'm not touching you. So poisoned right now, like yeah, you probably. I'm sure it's fine. Nah, mm. I, I'm sure my blood al- my blood alcohol level would just 
instantly. So kill if you. there if there was like somebody with a natural immunity, would we just have to drink their blood to be okay? Or? I think you have to find a doctor or a scientist who knows so, how to make. So vaccines. vampirism is where you're going. Uh, with well, this. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> would that work? Like, could I just you know I guess ingest only their if, blood and therefore have the immunity? Only or? if they're O negative, I guess. Uh, that, that's I think that's the. Does anyone know if Will Smith is O negative? I don't know. I assume I, I really don't know whether who the. I don't even know my what own. What the blood, blood type right? is, that's the universal donor. I just said O negative to hope that it is, in fact, it. Yeah, I could just. No, oh, never mind. Regardless, moving on to tech news. Something a such. little less morbid. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get on a <laughs> lighthearted yeah, topic. Enough about death and all that <laughs> lame stuff. Let's talk about technology and that's all those wonderful things we need to improve our lives. God's Yay! Yay! Now, uh, last week I said some pretty crazy uh, inventions that were uh, being built right now in the world. We had Bubbles. A, yeah, we had uh, we had uh, James, floating. James Bond submarine cars. Mm. We had floating USBs in the water by Google and all that crazy stuff. So today, so this week, I'm I'm bringing the big guns. <gasps> like real guns or or like, like my arms? Like, have you seen my? <laughs> Ah, okay. so, so Jeff's arms, okay. Mm. All right, this, this <laughs> is Alex, Alex Rich's uh, tech, tech uh, update of the week. All right, so now imagine walking through your house and you feel like you're being watched. All the time. All the time. Yeah, always. No, that, I mean, that's me all that, the time. That, like, I'm always like that. And then you see a plant and it smiles right back at you. Excuse me? Like with a real smile with teeth or? Like a spiritual smile. Oh, Okay. Well, that's less creepy than what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, so I'll catch to the point here. Uh, the pet plant, yes, the pet plant uh, designed by, I hope I'm saying this right, Juni Yiao. So basically it's an electronic uh, pot that you put the plant in, and it has a USB. Now you take that USB... Uh, after it collects data from your plant all day long, you take that USB, plug it into your computer, and it uploads all the statistics of your plant. So let me get this straight. It's a Chia Pet with a USB in it? Yes. Okay. And, and a it, real plant. Yeah, instead now, of like that stupid... So, so uh, anybody who's really big on plants know that when you sing to plants, it makes them happy. Actually, this is true. People. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of science to plants. So that's uh, harmonic I guess, therapy. Yeah. So I think is what it's called. Can it tell you if your plant hates you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, what do you do if your plant hates you and you find uh, probably that take out? better care of it? Okay. Well, what if Water you're taking it. excellent care of it and it still hates you? Then it's well, a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> you're just a horrible person. <laughs> your plant. Uh, you should stop. Horrible plant. Yeah. <laughs> I just want a garden. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you plug it in, and uh, so it lets you know, like, the the temperature it, it, it's been at for the last and where it should be and how happy it is and its, grow, its growth rate. And it also, the pot, th uh, if, it shows you the water. So Wait, if you water the, it. The water level? Yeah. So if you water the plant and you water it too much, it sucks out the extra water and puts it into another bowl so you don't overwater the plant. This oh, is genius. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Does this work with any plant? Any plant, really. And how does it know that it's it's a, it's What a about plant? vegetables? Science. Science. Yeah, it's can, a, you, can yeah, you grow well, vegetables? Can vegetables, I grow a tomato If it comes plant? from if it's a plant, then yes. If it's from a seed, I guess it works. Yeah. Huh. So this is the coolest thing since sliced bread. Yeah. No. Yeah, light levels, temperature, everything. Wow, so if you're not watering it enough, you need to water it more. So yeah, it's a digital pot, and uh, and that this is this is the the epiphany of this is the future is of there, botany. Is there a our, price? our good texture uh, agriculture. Is there, our, yeah, is there a price? <laughs> Do you know how much it costs? Uh, no, it's not. It, it's not. I don't believe it's on. Uh, so what you're saying rate. is the average Joe probably can't afford it. Not yet. yet. <laughs> well, I could see it being like maybe two hundred bucks. Hey, and let, if, let's you know, not uh, let's not forget that the computer originally was about the size of a room. That's and true. now everyone has one. That's Heck, true. it fits in our pocket now. So who knows how long it's going to be until, you know, the smart pot, as it were, is going to be yeah, know, the mass whole, marketed. The, the pet plant. Sorry, the pet plant. Yeah, Thank you. Pet plant. Get it right, Jeff. Yeah, so, you know, I like and I think plant. this is great for uh, wow. younger people who... Who want to have some plants in their uh, their house, but maybe mm -hmm. maybe they're not they're not experienced uh, gardeners, and they, they don't like plastic. Ones. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know much. Yeah, they don't know much about plants. Well, this this thing will guide them through their first experience. So mm -hmm. let me let me get this straight. the The pet plant is for people who are lonely. Yes, 
uh, lazy mm-hmm. and also don't want to put in the emotional like. But you get the emotion back. I know. It's this, like it you get you. you get something for nothing. I was kind of hoping the plant actually smiled at you. Like, you don't. Literally. Yeah, it does. Be through, like, does it through do data. a little display? It's through like, data. Oh. Through data. It tells you. No, no, Alex. I like meant, a like, you know, When your plant is <laughs> growing no, 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 nice no. and healthy. I, I was kind of hoping they'd like like invent a plant that like had a smile in it. I, I think maybe cacti. Do Isn't that a... I don't know. Like plants versus zombies. The Venus flytrap. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> So it's pretty clear. So yeah, that's the yeah. first wacky invention. I like it. I, me too. That's probably one of my favorite mm-hmm. on my little list here. But, you started uh, out strong. Uh, yeah, I wanted to start off strong. Uh, Nathan was uh, trying to look at my computer earlier. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I was just really interested. Yeah, I, no I told you I had some big stuff. It's like Christmas. This is technology <laughs> at its finest, people. He doesn't show me all the cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, the next thing I got going on here is called the Pool PC. Excuse me? Ooh. Oh, yeah. If I had a pool, I'd be interested. Like, right I can now. swim in a computer? <laughs> Wait, does it work in the bath? Yes. yes. Oh, yes, my God, yes! This, <laughs> this invention works in the bath. I think I know where this is going. All right, so let's uh, picture you're, you're in your little uh, floaty tube thing, laying in your pool, hot summer Shady day. pool? Yeah. So you got you got a beer in your hand, and you got your pool PC on your on the other hand. Now Love my coffee. So mm. say you want to order a pizza. You order, you order a pizza on the pool PC... And the guy comes delivers it to you right in your backyard, right to your pool. Yeah, right. How do you know to go to the backyard? Yeah, how well, does you, you put that on. You order uh, a pizza okay. you uh, in the backyard. You guys ever order a pizza before? Come on. Uh, I've so, never. So what you're saying is this is a waterproof. This is a PC. waterproof PC. Now, <gasps> I thought it was just like a PC that you know pizza men knew to like deliver to. And here I thought it was a pool that was actually a computer. Mm. We were all wrong. All wrong. I think my idea was a bit too you know, far-fetched. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know how that would work. So it floats on the water. It's waterproof. It has a GPS in it. It's a speakers. So now you just basically just have a, a you know your iPod dock, throw it into the pool. Aha! It floats there and blast music. iPod dock! Ah! ah. I gotcha! Hey. Pun city. Yeah, so it floats perfect for pool parties. And awesome. it's also a computer, so you can order pizza online from it. But let's go back to what's and important. And it's touchscreen. Waterproof and what's important? Uh, I can use this in my bath. Yes, <laughs> you can listen to your. That's all Nathan but cares wait, about. But wait, can I order pizza? Isn't it appropriate for bath time? Can I can I order pizza from my bathtub? You could. Can they deliver it to your bathtub? It, yes, you're gonna have to ask them. You can, can listen join to it? this it, it show. It depends how much you're tipping the pizza guy. <laughs> Oh, could we do show, the show? Could we do Wi Fighters from the bathtub? Order pizza and have it delivered to our bathtub while doing Wi Fighters. I don't think we have the studio equipment for that. But can a person <laughs> listen to Wi-Fi? Yes, yes, they can. While they are ordering a pizza. Yes. So and here's what you should do, listeners. They can do anything. Get this PC, listen to Wi Fighters, order yourself a pizza. In the bathtub. The pool PC, your best, your best buddy in the water. This mm-hmm. is, I, I think this adventure. I thought Nathan fabulous. was your you best buddy the in the water. Yeah, I'm yes. suddenly feeling no love at all. Nathan befriend the plant. Sorry, guys. Making things <laughs> yeah, well, at least I have the pet plant. Did I mention it's Bluetooth wireless? Oh, my God. No, you didn't. Ooh, but Jesus. it is. It's, yeah. uh, it's pulling all the stops today. It's really good, guys. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, my last final thing. It's a little on the, you know, it's called the uh, LED coffee table. The, sorry, LED lights coffee table. It's a giant coffee table that's completely built with with LED lights. It's the Tron coffee table? Yes, co- Tron coffee table. That's this it. is awesome. It, you basically, <laughs> you put, uh, say, you put a, your coffee glass on mm-hmm. it, and it lights up. It's all sensors. Oh. And it's, it's okay. see-through, right? So you see all the lights underneath it, right? And so, whatever you put on it, it lights up. So if you just, like, tapped on it, would it light up? It would light up. I could play tic-tac-toe mm-hmm. on this. Yeah, probably, yeah. Could could I make it into a Scrabble board and play light up Scrabble? Maybe. Could I do Probably chess? not. Oh my god. Oh, you could play chess just, on the table. The and it will light up. I don't care. Like, I don't care what I can do with it. I just want to see it work. It's, you, uh, well, I got some crazy photos. D and D on oh, this table. Well, once we have that. Oh. You know, yeah, wait what? a second. What? D and D on this table. I can oh, do yeah, that. You roll dice and. Like things will be lighting up while oh. your dice are rolling. Okay, well, so, uh, we all need to invest yeah, in we this. Need to pitch on this, table. <laughs> this is, hey, can yeah. we add an extra hour to our show? Yeah. <laughs> so it's ra- it's ranging from about fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars. 
So I'm waiting for the sale. Yes. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start oh, saving yeah. my uh, pocket so this change. Is, uh, mm, my couch change, too. Yeah, and it's uh, it's low energy efficient for Yay. the for the environment. I like how you whispered that to me. Uh, good. Seductive nice. yeah. environmentalism. Yeah. So I think this is way cool. And uh, I mean, I would love to have one of these. Bring a girl over and she sees that and you're... You're, She's you're like, swag. whoa, check out your swag. All of a sudden, I'm already at, I don't know, first base? No. Yeah, <laughs> instantly. Oh, yeah. She looks at it, and then she wants to make out with the table instead. I thought you guys were at your house. Are, we are? I thought no. we were in a bathtub. <laughs> yeah, then I show her my pool, you know? Whoa, and, now and we're at the plants. pool. <laughs> so basically, if you if you have the pet plant, the pool PC, and your LED light-up ta- uh, coffee table... You're, you're, you're living. You're living the good life. You can and uh, yeah, so uh, that's Alex Richards' text update. And you're back with the Y Fighters. Hello there. Mm-hmm. I got. Uh, I I, I want to say uh, hey to the people like standing, uh, not standing, sitting right outside our studio. I totally did like the whole like double pistols and a wink at you. I don't know you, but uh, hey. Would yeah, you like they to can't know hear them? You. Oh, they probably no, but uh, station's playing it outside. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Oh well, now this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I two awkward things today. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh terrible. god. Oh well. Uh, we're gonna move on to our next segment, which mm-hmm. happens to be our weekly gaming nostalgia moment. And it's oh, not cool. awkward at all. Uh, not at all. And uh, this week we're gonna do, or I guess talk about the board game that started it all for us with board games. And I would like to start with Nathan, considering uh, Jeff just commented that you are a walking board game yourself. Uh oh, you could say that. Uh, tabletops, yeah, are kind of like my whole forte. But when I really first started with uh, tabletops, I think I was playing Scrabble against my dad, and my dad's just like this weird like word wizard. It's kind of like like he's a wordsmith. He's a wordsmith. He kind of set the tone for me too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, no, it was just like that's how we started. Like playing Scrabble, playing pretty well. Like yeah, I got rain down, and then he just like precipitate. Like oh, dad, <laughs> I'm. I'm six. What are you doing? <laughs> Learn vocabulary. It's like, you got schooled, son. I'm like, ah. But, oh, uh, yeah. Man. I don't really have much uh, in terms of board games. Dad that throws down pterodactyl. You're just like, since when does it have a P? He's just like, well, this is, what, this is your first taste of bitter defeat. And I'm like, ah, no, Dad. But, uh, yeah, no. Did you ever beat your father? No. No, he's he's like a reigning champion in my family. Him and his sister just like go at it when they can see each other. Uh, I think it was like two Christmases ago. They actually finally got to face off once again, and like for the first time in like fifteen years, and it was heated. Like it it was really down to the wire at like in the thousands. And we're just like, how do you even get that many points in this game? In the thousands. Yeah. They they got it. That gotta makes hire. me feel like a horrible, horrible Scrabble player. Oh yeah, you don't know how bad you are until you play against a true master. I just don't want to play You're not Scrabble. The very best. No. <laughs> Anyways, that's, uh, that's sad. I'm gonna go cry about that. Alex, what about you? My uh, my nostalgia moment. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Mouse Trap. Nice. It's a crazy contraption. The, yeah, it's a crazy contraption. The fun is like the, the mouse trap. trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, some of you played a little bit too much of that game and watched a bit too much TV. Uh, when I was young, maybe not anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I, I mean, who older. didn't enjoy that game? I mean, the funnest part was actually building. I never was trapped. That was it. the funnest part. Yeah, I think for me. I actually just got angry when I got trapped for real. You know, I, I would just play the game just so I could, you know, be the person to to initiate the trap at the end. I just always watch just it go. built it. I always just built the built trap. It, and I didn't even care for playing. I just like yeah. building I'm the trap. I'm just gonna build this and leave it here for a couple days. Come back to it, put it back in the box, and do it all over again. I'm a Lego it. kid. That's what we do. I never played okay, it. That's fair. That's I never fair. played it. I had a lot of Lego, too, so, you know. Anyway, Sierra. Lego was good. Uh, well, I was going to do Scrabble as well, but since that's already been said, I guess I'll do Monopoly, the most annoying, most repetitive, never-ending game that is Monopoly. Uh, yeah, 
I don't know. I have good memories and I have bad memories. I have good memories when I started playing the game, and ten minutes later, my bad memory started. Um, just because, you know, that game never ended for me. It's... And when it did end, you just felt bad because you never really get any better. Well, you win if you, like, buy all the stuff, right? Or is that how Monopoly strategy works? strategy with it. Yeah. Like, if you own all the properties, but, that's like, how you But, like, I think win. it's supposed to go until, like, everyone else is bankrupt and mm-hmm. you're, like, top dog. But, like, nobody ever goes until they're bankrupt. That's true. You just get annoyed with the game and you stop playing. Mm-hmm. So it's, in other words, a game of patience. Oh. But I don't have patience. Uh, you're yeah. a horrible doctor. hey Not necessarily. Because you don't, you don't have patience. Uh, Come on! Uh, really? Did you get it, Alex? I was. I was shaking my I can head. see where the Scrabble comes in handy. Waiting for you guys to clue <laughs> in. But... I was like, what? Nathan, <laughs> that was actually a really funny joke. Thank that you. Was. I took that one from my, that was my sorry, uh, I didn't secret get counselor. That. I'm sorry. Did I feel like I made, I made that joke earlier the week, in the week, but in a different context. Yeah, I believe I've made the patience joke. Let's but that's just, a, that's let's a just agree that doctor. Jeff and I are slow at good yeah, puns. I was surprised Jeff was. I'm now. just slow today. That was, right? that was terrible. Okay, yeah, I, Jeff, you're next. Go. Well, I chose an oldie, but a goodie. Chess. Mm. I have a I long... don't know how to play chess. I play really? my dad, too. Do, do we you should play all some, play we chess? Play some chess? You sometime. all can play chess, Jeff. but yeah. I can, can someone please teach me how to play chess? Really? Of course. Yeah, seriously, I don't really? know how to play chess. Uh, well... Uh, uh, the object of the game is to get your king and queen out in the open. Yes. As soon as possible. Uh, also, to set yourself up for f- victory. That's right. I, not I failure. would say to just Ugh. ruin the person completely when it comes to the game. Just wipe the floor. That, that's pretty much my understanding of the game because my grandmother taught me how to play chess and my entire style of I, I call it combat when it comes to the game. Combat. War. Because this woman was like a drill sergeant against me. and Are you sure you weren't just really bad at the game at the time? No, she was a German lady who just no whole bars when it comes to strategy for some weird reason. I, I don't know why. Was Anyways. Her, was her, <laughs> long, was her long lost boyfriend Bobby so. Fisher? Maybe. What? Or Bobby Fisher. I know, but why? <laughs> Regardless, she... You know, was my, uh, I, I'm going to call her nemesis okay. until I was about nine years old when I finally beat her. I was like a little, I, I call it her little prodigy, <laughs> but not really because I'm not all that great. I'm just good at planning. <laughs> um, so would you say your organizational skills are better because of chess? I would say my tactitional skills are better because but, of chess. But when, did you, when do you really fully use your tactitional skills in, in real a, life? In conversation. And, yeah, organization. Not to mention, I guess, walking around. For instance, crowds. Mm-hmm. I look I forward like to you a... being on my team in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I think six steps ahead. Uh, or, I guess, moves in this case. But, yeah. Anybody else have fond memories of chess? Yeah, I actually had uh, this chess? virtual virtual chess game on my computer. It was really nifty. It, all the dudes were really like uh, cartoony. I remember that too. Yeah, and they killed each other, and it was really hilarious. Like the pawns were these little like little alien guys, and mm-hmm. when they killed each other, it was always a really funny comic event. It was mm-hmm. it was good. Virtual chess, uh, 3D or something like that. I forget what it was called. Too. Yeah, I could easily probably get an emulator. Or Did something anyone for play it. Othello as a kid? Othello. Yeah. Like. Reversey. Oh, Reversi. Oh, no. Goes Not by Othello and Reversi, guys. I, I thought you were talking about, you know, the Shakespearean No, play. no, no. Do thine no. eyes deceive me? No, I'm talking about the board game. Yeah, Reversi. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I got really into that for like two years. Really? Just dedicated two years of my life to playing Reversi. That's Worms. dedication. Yeah. I remember that being huge when I was a kid. Whoa, man. I thought we were sticking to this to tabletops. Well, she went to games and... Reversi is a tabletop. Computer. Really? Yes. Who? Don't you feel like a fool? I do. Well, Alex and I were talking about online chess, and then but it, I it, thought it, you could you could put it on uh, my portable PC here and totally make it a tabletop. I want, but really is it nostalgic. a pool portable PC? No, no, it's ooh, not. Ooh. You got me there, Alex. Because we probably want to go to there. the bathtub and no. or hot tub and to, or uh, you know whatever and else. or jacuzzi. There's another fond- water park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> water park. Yeah, it's There's brilliant. A, yet another board game that we missed in these lists. Missed or just yeah. didn't mention? Well, yeah, didn't mention. Mm. Risk. Risk. Uh, uh, no, I was pretty good at that game. I can honestly say I've played every 
um, adaptation to risk. Star Wars risk, normal mm. risk, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings risk. Like, there's but so have many. You played risk. Yeah, I, I yeah. just said that. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, I've only played lost original. the translation. Sorry. But, yeah, there's so many good games out there. Like they just you know put the word risk under. But uh, I but, blame my grandmother's chess you seem teachings to be with me like because the first time I played chess, I ended up winning. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think I was either Africa or Australia. Uh, you you owned the whole continent. Or? Once you get Australia, though, the game's pretty much over because Australia is literally a stronghold. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, because there's only one way to get into uh, Australia. Yeah, it's worth almost nothing. Th- that doesn't matter, though. <laughs> I mean, if you have it, then that's a good. It's the, it's the perfect Show me defense. The money. <laughs> it's not the size that counts. I know. <laughs> you have all of Asia. Exactly. You stack all. Yeah, who cares about all of Asia? If you stack yeah, it, just one island full of like 20 soldiers, you're like, I don't even care. Because then you just keep building up your soldiers over and over again because you have that one continent and you're just. It's strategy. I feel one, like we shouldn't play Risk on hey this uh, show Nate, just because okay. uh, Nathan's getting pretty intense about it. We'll have, a, we'll have a game of Risk and you can have Australia and I'll dominate you. <laughs> you can uh, try. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, I would never. I would and never. And officially scared. Kill me with friendship. Yes. Don't make me bring my grandmother from the And Panzer Shrek's, Shrek's, but you know what? That's, that's a different game. As, as great as nostalgia is, we should... Uh, move on. We should, we should mm-hmm. definitely move on. We need on. to move on with our lives, away from this nostalgia. Oh. As C.C. Lee said Just, so eloquently. Yeah, not really. Are you telling me I need to tell a story to I'm fill the time? Risk I would love to hear a story, Nathan. I've been waiting all week for this, and I don't know what to say because, mm-hmm. honestly, I've been dreaming about you telling me a story, and you haven't told me one it's yet. time so. for a day in the Come life. Come on. You told me a story about you going to tell me a story once. You, and you, you See, you don't shut share, up. You don't share this with me. Alex, shut up. You don't share this with me, you and it of makes me? me sad. Yes, of course I dream of you. If, if you, you don't just, know uh, what we're talking about right now, it's time for a day in the life, life of a DM. They call me the wizard. Anyways. Yeah, for Rizzle. Uh, <laughs> you're my new best friend, Sierra. Anyways, oh, uh, I had decided recently to be especially cruel to a particular character in my uh, game that I'm running. A system, once again, is exalted. It's kind of running a theme here that uh, I always play exalted, but that's just because it's the only really good version i know how to run and there's and only been two and episodes flashy. and even then i don't even run it that well <laughs> whoops but uh yeah our my character and this story is a guy called uh joshua morris and uh he's this young man of unbelievable strength and uh he he had the unfortunate circumstance of having a particular set of flaws that just made it too easy to exploit uh <laughs> He's a, he's incredibly powerful. He really is. And you know what? Sometimes someone as powerful as him has to have limitations. Mm-hmm. Naturally. He, he had the same curse that I suffered through where uh, in character development so long ago, when he first made this character, uh, had the sheet out, and he started uh, standing himself out. So he gave himself the maximum strength you could have. He gave himself the uh, most amount of uh Appearance, it's just basically like how beautiful you are. Made him super awesomely strong. So like super awesome. Charismatic? Or? No, not charismatic because he was like as dumb as a sack of bricks and yeah, it kind of showed. That sounds terrible. But he, he was like just an idiot and who also was incredibly like handsome. That he almost, he, he could convince people of the same gender that he was beautiful and that they would fall in love with him if that was the case. If he tried really hard. Uh, yeah, no. He is was, anyone else thinking Greek mythology? Yeah, no. Nice, <laughs> well, narcissist, but not really yeah. as narcissistic. Ha ha. Uh-huh. Strange. But uh, he had peak physical strength. Uh, was dumb as a bricks, and was the most handsome lad in the whole game. But he chose a very fatal flaw, and he gave himself uh, a code of honor where he could not harm a single woman, could not touch them, and like no matter how evil they may be, no Which matter how was- evil he. He believed fully in whatever a woman told him, and he could not betray And that was betray his them. decision, but yeah. uh, it was the wrong one. The fool! It, it, was, it was the best decision because it's like, wow, you actually gave yourself something to like challenge yourself with. But also like, wow, you just gave me a really good way to screw you over. So like, if it, I just have a quick question. If, if a woman were to dress up as a man just for whatever reason, I don't know, cloaking, I don't know. Yeah, disguising themselves, uh... 
would he be able to harm them because he doesn't know that they're a woman? Or would, it would his have to instinct be, tell him not to harm that person? I, hmm, Does he have a, a spidey question. sense about this? I don't this. think it's a spidey sense. I think he has, like, this special, like, he has, he's better at, like, noticing if someone's a woman, if they're an actual woman. But, like, he can tell if they're not a woman. But if they, no, he can't tell if they're not a, I don't even know the whole, like, shindig going on there. But it, it was it, a good question. It is a good question, but I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> uh, so he was just, you know, making his character. Uh, and the world we were in was this kind of like feudal Japan area. It was very honorable, and you had like bandits roaming the countryside and kingdoms and empires, whatever, all that stuff. And uh, I decided, you know what, let's uh, let's get this guy over as badly as we could. Um, and every single person in this world was female. Amazonia. Uh, Amazonia. Uh, <laughs> all females could not hurt. Uh, could not hurt them. Could not hurt them. <laughs> Probably couldn't charm them because you know they're they're, you know you you're in. They're a, just not impressed. They're not impressed. It's like what the heck is this? Is it dude? I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of went on like that, and uh, some of them were hostile, and uh, he rescues this uh, one person and then encounters a group of bandits. Now there's also another thing that's really interesting about this guy is that. Um, he, he will try to sacrifice himself to save a, a person's life, but also he can't feel pain, so he doesn't really care. Yeah, he can't feel pain. At all? No. Doesn't Ever? feel He can't feel anything, actually. When it actually so came like to they a, could cut him 1,050 times, and he'd he feel would feel nothing. Not, he would not feel nothing. He would not, I mean, he wouldn't feel anything. He'd but, probably bleed out, though. Yeah, he'd bleed out. He'd die, but he wouldn't know he was dying. Wow. Um, there was a point, actually, uh, just two characters, you know, having a nice banter. But uh, one of them was a sociopath who couldn't feel anything emotionally. And uh, the other was, you know, Josh, who can't feel anything physically. And Josh turns to our friend and he's just like, Jake, what's it like to feel? And the character was just like, like, whatever, I don't know. But um, feelings. Then, yeah, he's <laughs> like feelings. I don't care. But then he looks at um, wow. because then you actually ask the person who's playing him. He's just like, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. It's just so funny because we're like, we burst out laughing because it's like tragic, but it's hilarious, really. But, you know, sometimes you just choose the best way to make a character. Indeed. Uh, in any case, so far, well, like, I haven't really started to finish his arc and the whole, like, no hurting a female kind of thing. But uh, so far, he's just been running away from every single time he's encountered them, which is one. So whatever. He's not going to die anytime soon. The guy runs in, like, anime blood, but... Uh, Anime blood. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to dick him over as much as I can. <laughs> and that was a day in the life of, well, RDM. The Here's old hoping. <laughs> well, this narcissist ends up surviving. Oh, yeah, he will. And you're back with the Y Fighters. Yay. Yay. That's us. No. Mm-hmm. Not you. What? What? Well. Yeah, well, I, I'm sorry. I thought I put out the memo, but you got kicked out of the oh, team. Oh, did I? No. Okay, okay. get Starting out. Starting my own get show. Get out now. It's going to be called the Wireless Warriors. Wow. No. Direct competition. I see how it is. <laughs> can I join you? Yes. Really? Yeah, you can pretty much take over. Finally. I just want to be a you. lackey. That's fine. Okay. Jeff and I don't need you. Why this cue to talk? Sorry, guys. Uh... Jeff and I will just make a super awesome show without you. With clever wordplay and... Oh. No, Nathan and Alex is allowed. Wow. Specifically just Nathan and Alex's. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. We'll have a n- different Nathan and Alex, but... Yeah, you can no have plural. one Alex. <laughs> I, I know one Alex, and I know one Nathan that isn't me and Alex. Exactly. And I don't think they'd want to join. I know a thousand. I know Nathan would want to join this. I didn't ask for people <laughs> to join. Really? <laughs> well, maybe. Well, uh, everyone else has been asking to join. Well, I've gotten, have like, they? people have been sending oh, yeah. me emails saying, can I join the Y Fighters or can I get your uh, your autographs? No, and seriously, though. You're our, our idols and we worship you. Oh, I've been hey, getting those like crazy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> uh, no, I've just been getting a lot of people going, hey, like, if anyone drops out, you could uh, invite me. I was like, um,. I don't have any clue how to Let answer Let it be that. known to everyone who's listening, Nathan alone does not have the authority to do this. I wish I did. That's me. No, I don't. Alex I don't. Rich. No. Just, uh, just putting that out there. I- I've been getting a creepy guy wearing a mask outside my apartment. <laughs> it's on the fifth floor, Oh, no, floor, that was just too. me. I just decided to put on a man costume and, and then fly? put on a mask. And then fly. Now, those must be no, some no, serious no. heels. You look like fifth you're 6'5". I know. Like borderline kiss yeah. level. Yeah. 
Anyways, moving on. Throw what do we got? Creepy masks. <laughs> what do we got? We got some stuffs. We got for you. Can you can you be a little more specific? Game right? review or ga- no. a game upcoming game release? No, no, yes. no. That's, no. That's what I got on mine. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're going with that. Yeah, we're going. With that. <laughs> So we got some really, really good games coming out for November, and uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure all you people have been eagerly awaiting some of these ones. But uh, right off the bat, we got uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. And <laughs> which, which one's this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The thirtieth Call of Duty game or fifteen? The thirtieth. I lost count after. Is 30. this Ghost Ten? I think this is the sixteenth. Yeah. This is the is this a DLC for uh, Black Ops or something like no, that? No, no. It's all the same Who thing. Who right? here played the last? Like who, who, who I play, who I played, played it. I mean, I, Call of Duty. I don't play Call no, of Duty. Like but. the 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 last Call of Duty to come out before this. Uh, last one was Black Ops Two, and I didn't yeah. touch it, but I did touch uh, Modern Warfare Three and Black Ops One. It, it mm-hmm. fell off a shelf, and I had to pick it up because I'm a nice guy and I don't like <laughs> littering. Well, oh, hey, sure, Whoa. sure, <laughs> what? Well said. I'm gonna say this. It's addictive and it's simple and it's fun, but it's the same thing every time. That's I play all. it for the zombies myself. Uh, I own Black Ops One. Well, why could you not just? Pick and up I the only first play zombies. I've never zombie actually game, played. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to give uh, kudos to Black Ops just because it had an actually interesting storyline. Okay. You wouldn't know. Yeah. You, wouldn't know. you wouldn't know because you didn't play it, but it's actually really cool. Really. Yeah. I'm going to take your word for it now. And tonight, I'm going to go home and I'm going to look up that storyline. Uh, it's actually really cool, guys. No, I'm no, serious. No, I was being completely and honestly serious. Okay. I'm going to go home. And I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna send you a message telling you I'm reading it. It got the coffee. And then seal after of I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I thought of it. That's the only one that. It yeah. Okay. Here. So it's coming out uh, November. 10th. Uh, yeah. So uh, we were having pre- a moment, Alex. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to pre-order that, November fifth. That's the so that's the newest game coming up this week. But uh, more exciting to me personally, The Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds. <gasps> yes. And you know. Yes. This so this is coming out for the three DS. Oh right, surprise. Yeah, hey. Oh yeah. I know Nathan's surprised. Three you know, DS over there. But this is coming out November twenty second. And for any Super Zelda fans out there, this is this is the remake of Link to the Past. But Two. but in three D. <gasps> a link between worlds now. So uh there's probably you know, there's gonna be probably tons of extra dungeons like they always do and all those other neat little stuff in it, but it's uh it's that same world and I don't know about you guys, but that that was my favorite Zelda game. Was a link to the past. Ever? I feel like that one started the whole. Oh yeah. Get the three things no, for on, the sword. Hold on, hold on. Get hold the on. get the other eight things. That's oh, you want a high five? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's the other Zelda games had a different basis of how it was played. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Link to the past started the you know. It was the three pendants. Started match. the whole shebang. Yeah, the whole dungeons thing. Like it really, they really started the way they. They made the format for the mm-hmm. rest of the games. Was so, it 25 years ago or something? Somewhere in that ballpark? Oh, the first Zelda game? No, that was like way back NES. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah. Link to the Past was NES. Cool. I remember the 25th anniversary was recently, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, was, that was with Skyward Sword. Yeah. 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 So, That's why I said yeah. it. So this is actually <laughs> going for thirty nine ninety nine dollars US. Really? Yes. Oh, well, That's it is a handheld, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's going to be for okay. it. Well, I mean, they, I guess because uh, they're being really generous, I I personally think, because, you know, I guess they're you have to buy the 3DS, which, you know, everyone's got perfectly wa- fine working normal DSs, but, um, except me. but everyone's probably no. got 3DSs for Pokemon now. So It, it, it oh. comes out for the brick, right? The gray brick? <laughs> yeah, the gray the gray brick, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so thirty nine ninety nine. It's a pretty good price for it. So that's November 22nd, Zelda. Right. And uh, all right, so we were ripping on this earlier D- DC Universe. <laughs> yes, it's coming out November fifteenth. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we were really ripping. On yeah, it. well, I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely was. All right, well, one of us was. I, I heard, you know, that's because I, uh, know I, I I've been. So. I'm I'm very stoked for this game. It's it's gonna be great, and I mean, it's DC. Got all the good stuff in there. Yeah, all, Jeff, all my personal favorites. Jeff, are you a, a DC or a Marvel? <sighs> Yeah. Just to give her, uh, you a little bit of context, uh, I've got two DC comic tattoos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, it's got yeah. Batman, Superman, hey, all hey, those. Hey, hey, it could just mean you like those two people in particular. 
Uh, that's doesn't, true. That doesn't but say no, anything it's... about whether you're a DC man or that's a Marvel true. man. You know what? The reason that I do have a Superman tattoo is because he was the first superhero, and I love superheroes, and that's my reasoning. Which is amazing. That's one of the reasons. Just for the fact, least. if anybody has seen uh, Diff Paxo's uh, tattoos. They're, they're pretty nice. Oh, yeah. They're, they're very fine detail. Uh, you so, have tattoos? Yeah. You didn't know it is. <laughs> a lot of people are surprised that I Jeez. actually do. <laughs> same here, man. Uh, same here. Me, yeah, me and Jeff sharing our tattoo fanatic. Uh, mm-hmm. Nathan, Nathan, do you have any tattoos? Oh, they're only for, like temporary ones like yeah. i just slap them on i'm like oh, look at my squirtle <laughs> <laughs> i got a squirtle yeah then you should get a 20-sided dice yeah. mm. on your buttock or so, you could just put one side of the dice on each part of your body yes like i oh my god that just sounds stupid <laughs> it sounds ingenious make it sound like it's the only thing about me that is at all recognizable that's not true it's really hurting my feelings Don't worry, Nathan. yep so this is a massive multiplayer experience game. It's going to be going for fifty nine ninety nine as usual for mm-hmm. uh, most things, and uh, yeah. I believe it's going to be. Uh, I think it might only be. What I'm seeing here is it's only going to be for uh, PS, PS four. Ooh, I think so. As, as I mentioned but, earlier, yeah. uh? yes. Uh. yes. <laughs> I, well, actually, yeah, I believe it's going to be for PS three, but it might be. Uh, but it's not going to be for Xbox. So yeah. sorry, Xbox guys. And um, and I'm not an Xbox person, so that's okay. <laughs> and uh, last one was Super Mario 3D World. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm actually really excited for that one. This is my favorite one. Well, I know I said that about the Zelda, but I really am stoked for Mario because this you is be equally the 30th. For both. Unlike Call of Duty, this this is the 30th game, and it's it's still going to be good, and no one's no one's ever disappointed. No. I think uh, Mario re- real is... gamers play Mario, you know? Only real gamers. Mm-hmm. People who, yeah. So it, it just brings more happiness, you know? No one's yelling. True. No one's calling you names There's, online. Are you sure? Just something with Italian plumbers and yeah. dragons. Okay, <laughs> so I remember I watched some footage uh, from the last E3 about uh, Super Mario 3DS Land. But uh, the characters are going to control like they did in Super Mario Bros. 2, right? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's what I saw. Like, Mario's the average one. Luigi has, like, a flutter jump. Peach can hover, and Toad runs really fast. Wow. Yeah. And then they have this cat power up where you turn into a cat because uh, Shigeru. Like a cute cat or like a big cat, like a lion? Oh, I don't know. Well, they run around like a normal cat. cat. I've seen a video of a tiger hugging some guy. Yeah. Big cats can be nice too. Yeah, so that's for the Wii U. The Wii U, uh, I know a lot of people probably don't have those. I don't, I mean, who? unfortunately. Totally wish I had one. Mm. I, yeah, I have a lot of issues with the Wii U, but uh, if you got one, well then, uh, go buy this game. That's November 22nd, coming up later on this month. So you have time to pre-order that. And that's uh, that's the Wicked Alex Rich game review uh, releases coming up soon in this month. There's some and, other uh, games coming up, though, too. Oh, there's a whole whack of them. But, yeah, uh, but that's yeah. for later this yeah. month. Yeah, later, later. You like, can't just. Throw I got, I'm just all. naming off the the best ones right now. Oh, those other B list <laughs> games can wait. Yeah. It, it's it's we reserved let, for the top of the month spot. Yeah, for we gotta. Us. We'll let the let the people know mm-hmm. what they should be buying. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. <laughs> just so sad about games I'll never get my hands on. Mm. Yeah. Same Welcome here. to having no job. All right. So no, it's uh, not no job. moving it's on. That, uh, they don't comic news. Country. <laughs> yes, the oh, TV, yeah. movie, yeah. and comic book news. So uh, what have you got, Jeff? Because I've I've got a few things. I got a few lovely ones. Uh, Would you guys ever think that Wolverine could be M from James Bond? Just a random shot in the dark? Could you you see it? Like, would I think that as a random thought? Or would I think that if I was contemplating this uh, this kind of Like, let's say you are the current head of MI6. Okay. And you were like, hey, I need a precursor. Not a precursor, but a person to fill in... When I'm, you know, gone, would you consider Wolverine? Yeah, I would. Nathan? Oh, well, I don't really have any feelings on this guy. Oh. Uh, no, <laughs> but I, I pictured it because he told me earlier. Uh, I mean, I mean, I was <laughs> it all thinking spoiler about it. Spoiler alert! <laughs> well, aside from, you know, Nathan's spoiler, Hugh Jackman has been in the idea-making department for doing a movie that's based on the actual MI6 agent who inspired M from the James Bond series. No way. Like, we're talking... I think clearly Alex is the most some excited for this. nerdgasm oh, moment. I, I love James Bond. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same here. Yes. 
I'm stoked. Me too, man. Work. So, so <laughs> I'm just probably coming out within two years or something like that. If Give or take. If they're just talking about making it it's now. In the idea you never know, Alex, there's a script now could be your time to totally get in on this movie. Yeah. You could. I, uh, I could see you, BM. Contact an acting agent right now. And I'd be like, James. <laughs> All right, money. Penny. Stop sleeping. With girls. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, Can you get yourself in trouble? Yes, yeah, Sierra, you got. Uh, some. Yeah, I got. I got a few things. Uh, for one, the uh, Mighty Avengers is going to continue uh, this Ooh. week with their number or well, their, their third issue uh, oh. so far, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I've always been a fan of the Avengers, even after you know of all the comic book updates and everything like that. So. The hoopla. Yeah, that's good for me. And uh, also, there's a, on a couple comic book sites, if you're ever on them, you can find them online just by looking up comic book news, really. Uh, you can find an exclusive preview of the debut of the latest and maybe last Ultimate Universe event. Ooh. Uh, I really don't think it's going to be the last just because, you know, is it's, it ever the last? It's comics. Is it really the final ending? Well, no, if the universe no, does not. blow up, they just go back in time. And yeah, yeah, or the universe starts over, whichever way. They go forward, mm-hmm. backwards, you know, whatever makes sense to them. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Galactus on the Ultimate Universe, so it's going to be good, I Ooh. think. I, I do love my man, Galactus. Yeah, and he, for he makes me happy. DC's New 52, they've got a storyline going on this month. The Zero Year tie ins for Batman. It's. Basically, some of their biggest na- comic book t- titles are going to be engaged in the first year of Batman in Gotham. So, like, you know, Superman, in, when he was that age, the all the sidekicks when they were younger. Like, penultimate moments for all these characters. It's going to be interesting. Well, uh, since you're a, you're a fan, well, clearly a fan of Arrow there, yeah. Jeff. Uh, did, you, did you know about the Arrow teases the full debut of the League of Assassins? I did see that. Yeah, you saw no, that. I wasn't gonna mention it until like next week or something. No, like I think theirs. it needs to be mentioned now. Yeah. Yeah. I-, I had a little bit of a. I'm not gonna say nerdgasm because it, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but it will I- happen. I feel titillated. Yeah. Big words. I know. I feel excited. Sensual words. You mm-hmm. and your grade eleven words, man. I don't know how to stop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Never playing Scrabble with you, <laughs> or Nathan's dad. Yeah. yeah don't. Or Nathan's dad's sister. Can we get yeah, Nathan's yeah. dad versus Jeff? Can yeah, we, can we do can that? We like, that? I, I, Is that a thing? The floor can we have a segment thing. of that on the show and we'll just hey, he'd be like, oh, he threw out an S. <laughs> oh. He's, spe- he's spelling super. He's spelling Siscopedalian. Is that a word? Get the dictionary. <laughs> Nobody uh, tell him it's not. Uh, I already checked it. I'd have to have was. a Rocky montage for a year solid in order to meet that man. <laughs> It'd just be me looking at a dictionary. <laughs> Regardless, moving on. I just don't think any of us would do well. No. But there is one kid that will be doing very well in, well, for a very brief short period of time, the Make-A-Wish Foundation has helped, is granting a wish that, honestly, if It's probably I was the kid, most epic wish ever. Yes. Like, this is setting the bar for every child that follows, on November 15th, uh, the foundation will turn the an adorable five-year-old named Miles into Batman. Is he really adorable, though, or are you just saying that because, you know, he's a Make-A-Wish kid? Yeah. Not to be, you know, cynical or anything. But look, I, if you're on the Make-A-Wish, like, stuff, you're dying, yeah, okay? So does he really look good, or does he look like, you know... He's adorable, darn it. Okay. And it's, I'm just going with that. <laughs> if you say so. Why you gotta hate? Regardless, Miles is fighting a leukemia, and in addition to giving the kid a costume, a Batmobile, a sidekick, a and working two super Batmobile. Villains. Yes. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> He's, gonna get He's getting it. Two super villains and an official call from the actual police chief of San Francisco. Which super villains? <laughs> uh, actually, the Riddler and Penguin. See, it always tells you. Mm-hmm. The, it will, the event will feature a cast of thousands, too. Like, this is an actual event going on in San Francisco. So he's going to fight off the bad guys, then? Yes. There's going to be a car chase. How are they going to find <laughs> a Robin smaller than him? Well, he's not actually going to. Well, he's Batman. <laughs> well, doesn't that make sense to anyone? No? It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't okay, have to child, make sense. The child's dying. The kid's okay, becoming geez. Batman. <laughs> Just upset because I don't get to become Batman. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, when you're dying, you can be Batman. My question That's is unfair. the police uh, chief actually going to call himself Commissioner Gordon? I hope so. Like, I, I hope they actually pull the whole nine yards. Because or... I believe that kid is totally going to know that that's not Commissioner Gordon if he doesn't say his name is Commissioner Gordon. Mm-hmm. He's going to know. Yeah. He's going to call them on it. He's going to be like, I made a wish and you didn't make it happen. Yeah, but he's five and dying. I don't think he really cares. <laughs> I still think he cares. <laughs> I think that the devil is in the details. And, well, I'd be disappointed if my wish wasn't fulfilled to the letter. If I was a dying kid. I mean, come on. wouldn't I wish I could be Batman. And I'm not, like, the per- first person who says, I love Batman. But come on. Like, I wish I was Batman, too, Jeff. Exactly. Al- Alex agrees with me. I'm alive. So sentimental. I want to be Batman. Everything I've done in my life is all leading up to this hope that I will one day be <laughs> Batman. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that's what I keep telling myself, too. My parents are selfish for not getting shot. Wow! <laughs> oh! Hurtful. Wow. Just kidding. Are they listening right now? Probably. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Hi, Alex's mom. Hi. <laughs> and dad. <laughs> I, we we did not promote him saying that. They he said out of his own volition. Yeah. We do not condone parent violence. <laughs> death. Uh, I believe it's called. I believe it's called orphan. Why weren't they billionaires? Yes. Why weren't they billionaires? I don't know, Alex. You should tell them to go back in time and do that. Yeah, seriously. I always tell my dad that, like, man, you should have invested in Microsoft, dude. Oh, that's not so bad. Sometimes I tell my mom she should have, uh, you know, married Jackie Chan or something. Mm. He didn't. She didn't though. She didn't do that. Disappointing. I wish I, feel I, your love, pain, I love Jackie Chan. You guys, you guys ever watched Jackie Chan? Why Chan's do you adventures? think I told yeah. you to marry you? Best show. I Alex, that. I own every single Jackie Chan movie. Every single Even the one? Drunken every, Fist? All of them. Oh, I have it all on my movie. computer. Oh. Like, if we ever want to have a nice long kung fu night, like, I got it. I'm Drunken ready. Drunken boxing? Again, is do the you ball. realize, Jeff, we haven't been invited to this? No. No, I said all of you. What the <laughs> hell, guys? <laughs> Putting words in my uh, mouth. Well, we put words out of your mouth. <laughs> Uh, like two words. We have our next segment coming up, which is uh, some of your favorite, or some of your, some of you people's favorite segment. It's the Who Would Win in a Fight segment, and last time it was Jeff versus me, and this time it's going to be Nate versus Alex, and what's going to happen, who knows, but it's going to be a rumble to the death. Mm-hmm. A tussle in the temple. Friendships may be strengthened. Or Friendships lost. may be broken. No, not lost. Not with me and Alex. Yeah, not Who her. will be the very best? That no one ever was? Because it's Ash versus Red. <laughs> That's uh, Ash Ketchum from the Pokemon anime and all that stuff. And Red from the Pokemon games and the Pokemon manga adventure. Did Red ever have a last name? Uh, well, I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure it was just Red. Uh, Does anyone know? Like uh, God or... Before, He's before probably before God. For it. Just Burgundy. one name like God or Cher? Uh, I think his name was Satoshi in uh, So, Japan. So what's the scenario for this uh, battle off Royale? I think we're looking at end of uh, the final cave, you know? You know the cave I'm talking about, right? And you know, like gold and silver. You well, know, yeah. get in to the end of like Victory Road and mm-hmm. there I you don't. see him. Okay, well, I know <laughs> what you're talking about. I got it. I'm okay. down. I'm ready. So here's the, situ- here's the scenario here, Jeff. Uh, you are playing as your own character, your gold and uh, right. or, or silver, whatever the hell you called yourself, and you're traveling across the land, and you beat the elite four, and you beat all eight gyms, and you, right. you, you beat all eight Kanto gyms too, and then you get sent to a cave. This was in blue, okay? No, <laughs> no. Well, no. This is in uh, Generation Two. You know what? This, this was in regular. most of the Pokemon. Th- games. This happened in blue. It, no, blue no. was the one Game Boy game I had. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was he the says next one. He knows one. shit. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, so you get to the end of the cave, and there you see a lone figure standing in the snowy cave because there's like an opening in there. Is like snowy. well, it's not snowy in the first. In, yeah, in the first uh, iteration, it's not generation snowy. two. It's not snowy. Yeah, but in uh, regardless, the one. continue, please. Right, sorry. So uh, you go up to this man in his red hat and his shadowy expression. And all you, you don't hear a word he says. He just goes dot, dot, dot. And then the most epic music starts. The most. And then you fight the hardest trainer in the entire game. In, oh, in, in the snap. entire, every single generation, Red has always been the pinnacle of Pokemon mastery. Like, he's the master. He is the original. So he, they say. The very best. He's he's, he started it. Before. He <laughs> Yeah, okay. He beat every, he's the champion from Pallet Town. And honestly, he... He's done more than Ash ever has. Oh, so you, so you think. Well. So you Putting think. Putting it out there. Fists well, have been flung. I think it's time to 
Start this whole shindig. Okay. We need like a gong sound. Mm -hmm. Gong. Let's get it on. So unlike uh, Ash, Red was the one with the most sense to, once he finished uh, beating every single person there ever was that could possibly stand against him, like a true overlord of Pokemon universe, uh, he left to go visit, like, like stay in a cave for two years and uh, just stayed in the Kanto region. He didn't go and adventure. No, he has his heart where his home is. You know what I'm saying? What about Ash? Huh? Ash. What you got? Well, unlike Red, huh? Ash goes to every region. He doesn't just stay in a cave. He goes, all right, I just got eight badges. Go to the Pokemon League. Go to a next region. Get another eight badges. Beat that Pokemon League. Go to the next region. Get the more eight badges. The thing about Red, though, he doesn't go to them. They go to him. Okay? That's how good he Red's is. Red's not looking for adventure. He's, no, he's, he's a done. He's done. He's done. Oh, he's done all right. He, oh, no, 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 he's not. <laughs> so he's not done. Uh, he has the strongest Pokemon in the entire Yeah, actually, game. Can, I, can I just speculate on something? Like, uh, can you give me a breakdown of each of your guys' teams right now? Okay, so... Uh, I, I'd like uh, Ash first and Ash then first? Red. Okay. Ash, Ash first, please. We can't exactly oh. do that. But, Are we saying... I mean, if you really want to go for Ash, Ash Ketchum, okay, has a shiny Pokemon. Does Red mm. have a shiny Pokemon? Does Red no, have he a does shiny not. Pokemon? No. Ash Ketchum has a shiny Knocked Owl. That doesn't sound good to me. That's just luck. But that, you yeah, know, luck. Luck does not compare to skill, yeah. all right? But being a Pokemon master. So for your team, your first, your, for your six Pokemon, you want to choose six of uh, Ash's best, right? Yeah. Just, uh, just mm. I, 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 give me some of your favorites. What, what do you define as a best Pokemon? Uh, I think Ash's best Pokemon are all his Pokemon. Oh the God. bonds of friendship that he, wow. that he made with all those Pokemon. Really tugging at my heartstrings. Really yeah. How strong yeah. were those bonds, though? Because he sent them back to the lab yeah, and what, hasn't talked to them. They were so strong that he would never control them and he let them have their own will. He did leave. let Butterfree go. Butterfree needed to go and get married. Yeah, he, got he needed to find his Butterfree mate. Charizard. A true, a true Pokemon master oh, yeah. does not hold the will of his and, Pokemon. And he never catches legendary Pokemon. He just sets them free. That's just silly. Wouldn't you want to have God <laughs> in the palm of your hand? Because well, that's what I would. Have Red did I'm not. Red did not person, catch Articus. So. Ar Arceus. Ar no, he didn't. He, uh, he, did not, yeah. he caught. Uh, oh, wow. Let's let's see here. Mew. He caught Mew, Mewtwo, and uh, he caught all 150. Technically, he caught all the ones in the third generation because he showed up in Fire Red and Leaf Green, did which he? featured those ones as okay. well. Okay. Okay. Oh. So so you're saying that Red caught legendary Pokemon? Well, I'll tell you something. You caught Mewtwo? Ash Ketchum changed the heart of Mewtwo. Oh Mewtwo. Oh, and bring it back a to Pokemon who who had all this anger inside of him and all this, you know, uh, rage he wanted to throw at the humans for making him. Well Ash Ketchum made him turn another cheek and let and let the humans go. And and him and the clone Pokemon went away. And instead of Mew and Mewtwo Fighting forever and hurting everybody, Ash Ketchum changed the heart. But rather he, than controlling his power. But could he win in a fight with Mewtwo? I don't think so. He did. No, he didn't. He won, man. He he looked at them. He won the battle of the heart. Pretty much died yes. and then got brought back to life by stupid magical bullcrap. Yeah, has Red ever been brought back to life? He has didn't Red? have to because he hasn't died. Because uh, <laughs> he didn't throw himself point. in the middle of the Valid battle. Point. Okay. Red would stand in the background what? yelling oh, attacks yeah. while Ash would run into the battlefield to stop all that. I don't think Ash would run into the battlefield. He'd only run into the battlefield if one of his Pokemon was already in that battlefield. Okay, you know what you're suggesting no, here? Any battlefield. What you're suggesting here is the equivalent of Mahatma Gandhi versus Genghis Khan. What? Yeah. That's not going to... Oh, yeah. All right. Peace. I would say more like Gandhi versus Sun Tzu, all right? Okay, <laughs> there's a lot more qualities to a Pokemon master. You cannot call yourself a master if all you care about is power and how many Pokemon you have. Yeah, own. but you can't call yourself a Pokemon master if every Pokemon you catch, you give away. And yeah, you it, can, actually. Isn't the goal to, master and I them. quote, gotta catch them all? Yeah. Not gotta give them all away. No, no, I don't like that. See, uh, Red else his team, because he had a specific team that you got to see, because he caught all 150. Oh, how old is Red? 17? At this point, probably, but he's still How old is Ash? 
10. Ash Ketchum is immortal while Red grows old every day. <laughs> what? Ash Ketchum? I don't think he's immortal. Isn't yes. he? Isn't he he's only grown like, one year. He 14 no, 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 he's only 11. He's only 11. Since the beginning Has of the... Has it not been 11 years since he's been 11? Yes, he's, exactly. He He's only, he's immortal. He, he, he doesn't grow old. He, now, did he become immortal after, you know, being with that Pokemon of time? What was that Pokemon? Oh, no. It's uh, oh. Celebi. Celebi? Celebi, yeah. So did, what, did he become immortal after that? Or was he always immortal? Always immortal. Because huh. he's the true Pokemon master. As I was getting to... Oh, and the point when you bring up Celebi, when Ash Ketchum saves Celebi's life rather than trying to catch it. Yeah, but tons of people have saved Celebi's life. Who? Uh, it goes po- through it. It goes through the time periods and it, it, like Celebi going back through time and like several people and several different storylines. Well, wow. so you say. You, you did watch that movie, right? Yeah. So this is like the Back to the Future Pokemon movie? Pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Okay. Was and Ash Ketchum saved its life. Okay, but who Professor needs... Professor Oak once saves to, who one saved to, his life, too. Who needs to befriend super powerful Pokemon where you can just train them to be the strongest? Because all six of Red's Pokemon are... The, they're absolutely face-wrecking. Okay, so you know what you have? First off, you got Venusaur. Hey, wait a second. Venusaur. Did Ash ever, you know, level up his... He didn't need to. His Bulbasaur was powerful enough to do a solo uh-huh. beam. He didn't need a Venusaur. So? But was he strong? Was he beefy enough? Because he, he was. was he trained to that level? No. Bulbasaur defeated, uh, like, three Pokemon at once at the beginning of the first Pokemon movie. Yeah, that's true. One solar beam. One solar beam? Yep. I don't believe you. We'll rewatch it. We'll rewatch it together. Wait, 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 that's, we'll that's, that's later. All right. And Anyways, I'm, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. He's okay. got Charizard. Oh, yeah? A Charizard? Okay. Yeah. Probably a lot stronger because he could actually fly with it. Ash can fly with his Charizard. He yeah, after in, like in, five years, he's just like, I can now fly because I had to train in secret in a dragon cave. No, that's not what he... Oh, that is yeah, totally yeah, what yeah, when happened. Charizard comes back in the movie versus Entei. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And he's got Goodness. Blastoise, who could probably wreck every single one of those Yeah, guys. but does a Blastoise have cool shades? False. No, he does not. No. But he does have <laughs> cannons on his back. He's got cannons on his back. Yeah, but he doesn't have a cool sur- Squirtle squad. Does he have an Eevee? Ooh. No, you know what? He doesn't have an Eevee. No. That's right. But, oh, no. That's because Gary's got an Eevee, so, like, who he, cares, he ain't about that life. It's Gary <laughs> mother freaking Oak, man, but that's not who we're fighting today. Yeah, yeah, we're not that fighting. might be a wholly different story, like, Red versus Gary? Uh... He he had eight badges by the end. Oh, no, sorry. All right, so, so uh, yes, uh, Red's got all those awesome Pokemon, but Ash... Gets badges for no reason. He doesn't even. He he defeats an Onyx with a Pokemon. Okay. That's how good he is. He gets badges just thrown at him because he's just. You know what? No. Good. You're starting to argue about pacifism, so let's just say it. Jeff, Sierra, who would win? A tyrant or a pacifist? The bonds of friendship. Uh, I, I think Jeff should go first on this one. Just saying. If history has taught us anything, is that tyrants in war always win. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Give me skin, buddy. Give me skin. I'm the, sorry. In the world pacifist. of Pokemon, that's not the case. Uh, in the world of Pokemon, happiness always prevails. I I, I agree in some senses with Alex. However, I uh, I, I still can't believe it, that uh, Ash Ketchum is 11. And secondly, I, I don't think that, you know, being a guy who just solves everything with love is eventually going to help him, you know, when... Somebody tries to destroy the world, so I'm gonna uh, go. Yeah, he defeats them with uh, their Pokemon, I'm like in every have movie. Has to go with Red just because you know he he clearly uh, he he just trains more. I just feel mm-hmm. like I mean he's the final Ash opponent. spends his time looking for food. I can see the issue being you know this is what happens in the end. Red destroys one of Ash's Pokemon. Ash runs in to save said Pokemon, gets caught in the crossfire, and unfortunately... Burns to cinders. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, wow, that this was round, I guess, goes to Red. Woo! Welcome back to the Y-Fighters. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's time for uh, something really nice. It's the webcomic of the week. Where oh, every yeah. week, I choose a webcomic to talk about. And this one's called Gun Show Comic. Um, if anyone has ever heard of this comic then you know it is the most depressing but hilarious comic you're ever going to read really yes it's uh it, it kind of reflects the story uh, it's, the storylines reflect sorry the uh the uh, the life of this guy casey green who has written and been drawing it for i think th- four years now five years 
So, now, now you described it as depressing, so now I feel bad for this guy. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, Casey Green uh, has had a lot of issues with his life where like things happen, but he doesn't really disclose it. Like he just kind of expresses his sorrow through his comics, and that's really the kind of like powerful ones. In the words of uh, Casey Green, it is a comic about a lot of things, like bones and blood and sadness and love, and also nerds and hell and dogs and death. And he just kind of like goes on a tangent about what everything's about. Uh, he's probably one of the funniest writers I've been keeping tabs on, like Ryan North. But uh, he he really sticks to his gun show comic more than really doing anything outside of it. Um, he's frightfully self depreciative. Uh, sometimes he shows up in his own comics, and I think one of them was uh, he asks his younger self, "Hey, what do you want to do with your life?" Uh, he's like, uh, "I want to sit at home and do nothing." And like the kid's smiling, and then like cuts forward like ten years, and you just see him like lying in bed, just like really depressed looking, and it's just like, "Oh my god!" Uh, but I've done exactly what I wanted to do all my life. Exactly, and it's just like, "Bet what? What cost?" So he kind of like wrestles with his own uh, feelings of inadequacy. It's it's really it's his good. own uh, you know personal battles. Yeah, uh, uh, he's got this. Warfare. Yeah, he's got this arc. Uh, with the anime club is just this group of nerds who uh, just sit around and watch anime together and they it's kind of like really sounds gross. like my kind of group uh, but they're like really like annoying and you just kind of have to see how obnoxious people get together and like kind of behave isn't and that what we're doing right now sort of well, speak for yourself <laughs> uh, if you Sorry. really uh, if you really want to read it, uh, the website is gunshowcomic.com. So that's g u n s h o w c o m i c dot com, um, and uh, just be prepared to see some pretty like dark stuff because he he really gets on himself often, and uh, I don't know. I really appreciate it for what it is. It's just dark humor at its finest. That's wicked. Yeah. I will be sure to check it out. Once we get a Facebook page, we can start linking the uh, comics I'm actually talking about. But mm-hmm. uh, we can organize that next week. Apologies, Hopefully. everyone, for that. We, we've been swamped mm. the past week. It's just one of it, one it's of those times. It happens. It's mm-hmm. radio. It's radio. It's radio. It's the way she goes, boys. It's mm. the way of the road. Yes. You got a game for us, don't you, Jeff? I do. No, I love week. games. Let's I, hear it, Jeff. I teased last week. I would be reviewing a game, hopefully, that if I ended up snagging it, and I did, I was very tired when I did started playing Did you have to fight it. someone for it? Yes. Really? Tooth, nail, goodness. Like, I <sighs> nearly had to smack him down with the game itself, but instead I used the other hand. Good Luckily. Hand. So I can. the game was still intact. It was very much like in Seinfeld with George's father and the Barbie doll. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Good Festivus. Enough. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the game was Festivus. Assassin's Creed 4. Ooh, okay, let's, yes. Uh, yes, I want to hear what you have to say. Black flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I talked about this last week, and uh, you went and picked it up? or Yeah, I did. Right on, man. Uh, Woo! Oh, I'll have to you, come over now. This is way you more different than everything else. You the game else. for yourself. I'm just going to go yeah, over to Jess and play it. Yeah, just free load off, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, this game is far more different than I even suspected. I've been excited for this for a while. It's time to fasten down the hatches. Because this is straight up a pirate game. Like, this is more a pirate game than it actually is an assassin's game. Yar. That makes me want to buy it. You're doing... Uh, I'm, I'm tired of the repetitive, mm-hmm. like, assassin's thing, but... It's got those themes, and it's got the fighting style, mm-hmm. but it's mostly naval. Like, in the sense that you do a lot of sailing around and finding of buried treasure, you know, taking down forts, and, yes, plundering ships, awesome. which is surprisingly addicting. Do oh, I get I to have imagine. a hook hand? No. It's uh, making me think of Wind Waker Zelda, you know, mm-hmm. going across the ocean. Wind Waker HD. Imagine the ship is way bigger. It's far more violence <laughs> graphic. And, you know what, this is not Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to say it straight up. Because they're, this is way darker and paints more of a picture that the piracy in the Caribbean was more like a precursor to the American Revolution. As in, these guys tried to create a democratic society while uh, Britain and Spain was the aftermath of the Spanish War during then. And these guys tried to make the first sign of a democracy, but failed miserably because that's what happens when everybody's, you know, half-sauced and trying to... 
do what they want. Fair enough. <laughs> and, you know, it's super So you actually get scurvy. to explore the map, the ocean. Yes. You just get to go out into the ocean. It's and... open in a sense that... So is it a real ocean? Like... Very much so. So they just use, like, Atlantic and Pacific oceans and It's stuff? the Caribbean itself. Huh. So you're going in, in, inside all the islands. Does and the water look legitimate? Way cool. Cool. Pardon? Does the water look legitimate? Like, yes. Is it, is it, is it, it, there's even uh, uh, weather elements as well into it. Storms. Where, yes, even water spouts. I've seen Like sea effects. hurricanes. Tell me about the gunpowder, Jeff. The gunpowder. Yes. As in the firepower? Oh, yeah. The, the Holy. Bomb. Bombs, uh, cannons, yes. pistols. I cannons of all sorts. There's chainsaws. You can actually get a mortar as well. And oh, all these things maybe. actually did exist back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just different applications. Hmm. Well, same applications, but it's a side of piracy and the history that you're not more common with. Like, for instance, before playing this game, I had no idea that it was essentially a precursor to an American Revolution. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting to see these different sides of these historical figures, like, for instance, Black Bart. Yeah, that's one of the guys. Charles Vane, I never knew who he was before actually playing this game. I have even looked a bit into history at some of these people. It's really interesting. Like, far more darker than I ever imagined the times to be. 1717? Like, those, like, early 1800s. It was... Wow. Does, does it give you a time frame of uh, how much longer this is after the last Assassin's It's before, Creed? actually. Oh, right, because Assassin's Creed Three was in the... Uh, 1800s. The mm-hmm. 1800s. And this was in the 1700s? Yeah, it, well, they were both in the 1800s. Oh. But uh, Assassin's Creed Three happened roughly 60 years before this one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that's cool. Sorry, sorry. So 60 after. years after. 60 Apologies. years after. Okay, whatever. whatever. So... Yeah. Every, does everything fit in? Like, cause it's I've been off the mm-hmm. games for a while. The last one I played was Brotherhood. Uh, so is it still all linked together with that cult, the Templars? And yes, it does. But it's not as weaved. It's bled into it as far as not linearly related. It's more of a side thing that affects the storyline minorly. So you're still fighting pirates. You're fighting the British and Spanish while occasionally a Templar too. Oh, are you still in the Animus? You mean Templars? The whole Animus thing is still prominent. The modern day, I really don't want to spoil anything if you know, you guys are going to go get it. Uh, uh, true enough. I'm probably not going to go get it. I also, you know, well, these are all listeners as well. That are in every mm, game, so. The modern day is also addicting. It's in first person as opposed to previous years when it was third person. But there's a first, lot of fun puzzles. Like first, first person, person. Yeah, yeah, puzzles. Yeah. I like puzzles. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's a very addicting up. puzzles in it. I, yeah. I'm a puzzle aficionado to say the least. Like I love my puzzles. Mm-hmm. I find them challenging and fun. It's frustrating sometimes. So you must really like the game so far, then. I do. That being said, there are some things that are minorly annoying, so I'm not going to give it a 9. And that's just because I'm wanting to be critical when it comes to this game. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Still, Still a pretty really good score. Good. That's a really good score, and you know what? I feel bad. Do you have your own that? system as Nathan has his own system for rating? My, my systems are always unique. I've got a very unique... It depends on the game. Well, do, you have a, do you have a system of rating for this one in particular? I do, but I'm not going to you know, reveal it per se because what? I, I changed yeah, what? My, I ch- my system essentially is unique per game. No, I'm more or less, more or less meant like uh, do you do you have a Mareeps for where Pardon? do you do you, do you well because Nathan rated his Pokemon game out of Mareeps, so do you rate it out of uh, yes. like, uh, doubloons or uh, pieces of eight? So, Yar. eight okay. pieces of eight. Out of ten. Eight wow. pieces of eight. Good score. Mm-hmm. Uh, I may have to rethink buying this game and rebuying a system to play this game on. I have well, to think about PC. how far Nathan, uh, sorry, Jeff's house is. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. actually right across the street. You're yeah. good. Yeah, I'm just, just walking. And, yeah, you live pretty yeah. close to I me. I know. So. Well, I think uh, maybe tomorrow or something, man, I'll have to come see uh, what, this, what this game's all about. It means I got to clean... Uh, oh, not for me. Yeah, because your apartment <laughs> is so room, messy. That's all I, yeah. well, you haven't seen it in a while, all right? It's been a while since I've cleaned. Uh, <laughs> anyways, enough about my tidiness and lack of vacuuming. Does anyone else have any uh, game reviews they'd like to talk about? I got one. It'd be pretty quick, too, just because I've been playing it recently. Uh, it's called uh, Miramaza Rebirth. 
And it was actually, it was released on the Wii originally, but uh, they brought it over to the PS Vita, which is why I'm playing it, because I got one, and, you know, I wanted to take a break from Pokemon, really, temporarily. But uh, So, for about five minutes. So, yeah, for five minutes. I, I've clocked in about eight hours so far, but, like, that's just because I fall asleep sometimes when I'm, like, trying to play it, because I only have the time in bed. But um, I have some pros here, cons, that you should, like, look into. Uh, beautiful visuals. Like, this is an absolutely gorgeous game. Um, the art, it's all, like, hand-drawn, and it's all, like, based off, like, uh, I guess, feudal Japan art. And all the gods are in there. It, it's set in Japan, just, like, old, old Japan. It's really, really fun. Like, I, I'm serious. This is the most satisfying gameplay and combat system I've ever had to, like, sink my teeth into. Now, how, how old are we talking here? How old is the game itself? Now, as far as the... The setting? Yeah. Oh, God. Probably, like, a thousand years back. Maybe two thousand years. This All is right. back when, like, people were still forging swords. All right. Uh, so when the this Celts a, were wearing kilts. Yeah, this is the this, okay. is, this is in the time of uh, Miramaza, the actual, like, swordsmith from Japan who was just, like, apparently, like, pretty good, but, like, really angry and kind of a dick. <laughs> so, uh, for lack of a better word. For lack of a better word, he was, like, a huge jerk. Uh, you also have end game content in this because you gotta you're collecting demon blades, which is kind of like the combat thing. Um, awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the plot line really interesting. You got two different characters you're playing, and the characters themselves are fantastic. The one thing I can say about this is that you know what uh, gets repetitive and it's a bit over sexualized. Other than that, I give it. Uh, what Japanese game isn't over sexualized? Yeah, just wondering. Enough. I that's mean, even if you're playing like Rune Factory, it's still sexualized. Can I just review this game and just give it my rating? Yes, please. Uh, out of Demon Blades, I give it 86 out of 108 swords, which <laughs> roughly translates to 8 out of 10. You stole my score again. <laughs> no, we just happened to share a score. Aw, that's mm. good though. That's right. Well, that about wraps it up for us this week. Oh, man. I'm going to be uh, compiling this later. I'll call this like the best friends episode or something just because yes. we seem to be trading friends now. You <laughs> you stole Alex and I took Sierra, so it's all good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm always yours, Nathan. I, I, We're like, I, I don't think any of us are objects, so uh, no one's really stolen here. We're all very good friends. It's I okay. stole your heart. It's borrowing without permission. Yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, once I find somewhere I can put these all up, uh, you can cruise through our archive. Mm -hmm. mm. But until then, you'll never be able to hear us until next Saturday. Yes. Which will make you sad. Yes. Probably cry. Yeah. Maybe we'll even cuddle all. up in your bed wishing you had a hot cocoa and a blanket. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I could go for cocoa. But that's all for the Y Fighters this week, and uh, we thank you for listening to our amazing show. We um, thank Nathan Coffin. We thank Alex. Alex, that's me. Hey, I'm Nate. Hey. I love that guy. Hey. Look at okay, us. we thank Nate. Uh, we thank Jeff, and uh, we thank you, CC Lee. Uh, thank yeah, you, CC. Okay, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, we hope you tune in next week for more amazing game reviews, comic book reviews, and anything else that really is nerdy and or geeky. We love you. You stay gaming, folks. Excelsior.